So this is the $160 iPhone 14 Pro Max I got on Amazon. And you and I took a look at it in the last video. And let's just say I've got some trust issues. Everything on this smartphone other than the navigation bar on the bottom here is fake. Like the dynamic island right here has no function other than squirming like a jellyfish when you poke it. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the camera and see if it's like everything else on this device. Deceiving. And when I say that, I mean like the contacts, they're Google contacts, every application. Calendar, it's Google Calendar. It's not even the phone's own app. Photos, Google Photos. I mean, App Store is the Google Play Store. It goes on and on. So is the camera the same? I definitely have my suspicions. Just looking over the camera, it looks like there's only one camera. It also looks like this sensor is a load of crap. And the flashlight, I guess we're gonna have to test it. Let's just test it. Okay, we got a working flashlight. That's good news, good news. Now, to take a closer look at the camera, we're gonna have to whip out some tools here and do some digging. Now, on Amazon, it said the camera of this device, just the selfie cam, is 24 megapixels. So. Okay, so I was hoping to lift this in one piece, but I've already broken it. The back glass is more like, oh gosh. More like a piece of plastic with a sheet of glass on it. And I'm, I'm now getting glass splinters. This does not feel nice. Okay, but this is what we wanted. We've got the entire back piece removed, and it looks like the motherboard is buried under all of this plastic. We're, we're not interested in that. We're mostly interested in taking a look at these cameras. Now, with previously fake iPhones I've had, these cameras weren't attached in any way. This is just a big sheet of fake camera lenses. And okay, hopefully I didn't break the phone here, but it, it's looking the exact same here. So let's, let's lift this up. Okay. That was what I was suspecting. We've got three lenses and no functional camera within this unit here. I don't know why they decided to do a blue tint because it just makes it look worse. And then even the functional camera just has a big fat lens to make it look like a 14 Pro Max, essentially. Going back to the actual camera, this is not looking promising. The camera is smaller than the tip of an eraser on a number two pencil. The fact that this is so small, it makes me very interested to go into some camera testing as well as video recording testing, so be sure to stay tuned. It's, it's gonna get interesting. I'm also glad to report that even after we rip the back of the phone off, it still works fine. So we're gonna compare the camera to a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 camera. We're also going to compare it to a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 camera. And we're also going to compare it to a Samsung Galaxy S10e. Now, you might be asking, why not compare it to an iPhone camera? Well, because folks, we're not talking about an iPhone here. We're talking about an Android. The fake 14 Pro Max is clearly an Android. And I feel like this will give us a good comparison to see how good the camera is. Each of these devices have a 12 megapixel camera. But let's drive to our filming location and get started with the testing. By the way, I drive a white Chevy Cruze. Okay guys, so this is the selfie cam of the fake 14 Pro Max. And I wanted to record right here because I got some big mountains behind me. The Wasatch Mountains, I live in Utah. Uh, the camera quality doesn't allow two frames or two frames of focus. So it's either me or it's either the mountains in the background. So the selfie cam, it's not looking so great. Now to get a full perspective on the camera quality, we're gonna go to a different part of Salt Lake and I'm gonna show you guys some really cool wall art that I found. There's some really cool murals that local artists have done. And I'm gonna compare it to the Note 8, the Note 9, and the S10e. Let's flip it around and see if the back camera is any better. Okay. And this is the back camera. How does the back camera look? I highly doubt that it looks any better, but I just want to give you guys a, a clear depiction of what a $150 iPhone 14 Pro Max from Amazon looks like, at least when we're talking about the camera. Let's go to a different part of Salt Lake 
and look at some cool wall art and I'll do some good comparisons with some older Android smartphones. I then drove myself like a girl boss to the mural district of Salt Lake City to film this next portion of the video. I highly recommend checking this out if you're ever visiting Salt Lake City. So I took these photos here with the fake 14 Pro Max and in all honesty I don't think they look that bad. But the reason I feel that way is because they're not being compared side by side to higher quality photos like these here. The photo on the left is taken by an S10e which is 16 megapixels and the photo on the right is taken by a Note 9 which is only 12 megapixels. Now here I'm doing some video recording of the fake 14 Pro Max and it's looking pretty grainy even if you're not comparing it to anything else. And unfortunately, the 14 Pro Max only zooms up to four times, which is pretty horrible, especially when you have such low video quality. When you try zooming in on anything, it starts to look like a checkerboard. Here I'm zooming in on my Maserati, and it's looking pretty bad. Not the cool kind of bad, like it, it looks bad. So now I want to take this opportunity to drive this comparison between the Note 8, Note 9, and S10e a bit deeper into the fake 14 Pro Max, mostly because you can get all these phones for around the same price point. So let's start with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 on the rear camera in video mode. On this day, I was rocking the Leather Air Force Ones and they're coming in pretty crisp. This device records at 12 megapixels and can record at 30 or 60 FPS, all the way up to 4K, my brother! Please do not buy a fake 14 Pro Max. And then this one here is the Samsung Galaxy S10e. It actually has dual rear cameras, one of them being 16 megapixels, one of them being 12. And then lastly, we have footage here of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which is coming in at 12 megapixels and not as good as the S10e, but still looking fantastic compared to our, uh, you know, fake 14 Pro Max, which absolutely robbed me of my money. No, I'm totally kidding. I bought the fake 14 Pro Max specifically because it looked so ridiculous, but I want to drive home the fact that all three of these phones we've taken a look at today, they're great phones, and I actually have used them to record the majority of my YouTube channel. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys the selfie camera of all four devices side by side, the top left being the S10e and the bottom right being the fake 14 Pro Max. Can you guys guess what the top right and bottom left are? I'll give you a second and comment below. Okay, here they are. Were you right? If you were right, comment below and congratulations for being a genius. Now, if you're still here for this part of the video, I'm going to talk about some really cool stuff I'm rolling out on my channel, and I'm going to show you some more really cool artwork I found while I was taking photos with my piece of crap 14 Pro Max. So the cool thing I'm rolling out for my channel is called Channel Memberships, and if you guys are familiar with YouTube, you know exactly what this is. It's a way for me to connect with you guys on a deeper level. At the first two tiers of memberships, I'll connect with you directly on social media and you'll receive member-only videos, tier one being $2.99 and tier two being $6.99. It's kind of like OnlyFans, except I'm not gonna be showing you my naked body. And there's actually never mind. It's nothing like OnlyFans, but it's either $2.99 or $6.99 a month. And if you want to pay $24.99 a month, I don't expect that, but it's there because the option was there and I said, why the heck not? I put all the details in the description below. I know you guys have seen me streaming a lot more often, and there will be a direct correlation between streaming with you and chatting with you if you're part of that membership. So Look forward to seeing you guys there. Please join the cause, and thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you next time.